apa apa this thing ngabring ga oke okay. this thing ngabring ga dear friends uh, this is the most important video i ever made if i want to say ever yep make sure to twist it and i live in canada there is a bill called bill c11 May it turn to a C4 on those who passed it. Okay. <laughs> it's a censorship bill. It suppresses me. You can search me up nowadays. I don't show up. Maybe it doesn't happen outside Canada, but in Canada, unless you're one of the puppets, propagandists, you know, you don't show up. My China videos used to come up. Now that I don't even search me, they only show up. Anyway. This is the most informed video you're going to watch about this topic. Has down, point blank, whatever you want to call it. What I'm about to tell you, nobody's going to ever tell you. Not on YouTube, or your friends, or streets, on both sides. They ain't going to tell you. Let me make it clear. I am pro-Hamas, unapologetically, publicly. I'm pro-Hamas. Hey, can you support terrorism? Define terrorism. Because the way everyone is acting is that you're a terrorist if you got my skin color. How about I go and do the Michael Jackson surgery and go commit terrorism? That way, when, I, when I'm white, it's not terrorism. Because it seems that's the skin color. If the European do terrorism... The media will refuse, but let's forget the media. Moops. The crown prince, who, let's be honest, he's he's the king right now. He's running the show. Uh, the son of uh, King Salomon bin Abdulaziz al Saud, the king of Saudi Arabia. His son. The Crown Prince Muhammad bin Salman, known as MBS, Moops. Lately, on uh, between dissidents online, they call him Bin Shalom. Now, there's a split. And to be honest, my whole... I'll be honest with you. I have chose to not criticize certain things about Moops. Such as the fact that he put his own mom in jail. To each their own. And I did some controversial things that even I might look, I had to doubt myself. Like, did I do the right thing? Like, defend him on the Khashoggi situation. Uh, I'll tell you why I did that. Now, I hope you don't doubt my integrity, but I'm from Saudi Arabia. And I always had hopes to not because you know like uh, i don't have nobody there no more so oops, i can talk now okay baby and i'm not i'm not arabian uh paper so don't play with me before i had a white man come educate you but i like you moops that's a problem moops is in a very tough position to be tougher than his 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 you know like he's seen being a king in Arabia or a crown prince or a ruler, it's easy. It's an easy job. It's so easy you can do it sleeping. If you think Sleepy Joe stutter while he talk, you should have heard Salman. If he could speak Arabic, they, they had to edit some of this. So look, King Salman, who's king, is practically vegetable. Some people say he's past. Some people say he's in a... A vegetative state, no disrespect, your highness. But here's the thing about Mubs. The thing about being a king of Arabia, or top guy of Arabia, is this is the thing about Arabia. Arabia, you see how America is the leader in the Western world 
and they say the globe, but that's that's just limited to us for now. I'm talking media. I'm talking culture. America. Wow, everybody, you know America. Some people hate it. Ooh, God. But Amer you see what America is between that? Huh? The same way you can describe that is the same way you could describe Arabia between the Arab world and Arab slash Arabic is a language. Let's say the Muslim world. There's Muslim countries who don't speak Arabic, such as Iran, speak Persian. But they about that life, hardcore. And places like what else? Turkey, which is a NATO country. I heard they left NATO. I'm not too sure. I'm not sure if they left NATO or they just chose to challenge and be like, hey, bro, I ain't with y'all. Good choice. But let's speak about that. First of all, I need you to understand something. This is the parts that nobody's ever going to tell you. And most people don't know. I grew up in Arabia. I only left Arabia when I was like 18 years old. After I've been locked up and grew up and adulthood. So what I'm about to tell you right now, rarely you will hear it. And most people who try to tell you are dead. That's why I never spoke it. But it's the perfect time to speak it. Listen. Palestine is not the only victim. And my anger, rightfully so, is not one triggered by what you guys have seen. You guys have only got to see this because God chose the perfect set of cards, TikTok existing. Age of smartphones. China control TikTok. You can't have American censorship, so you ha you you got to see it. I didn't just see this. I've seen like this and worse before. What do you think mowing the lawn is? And the whole Arab world did. That's why they were very quick to say, condemn Hamas. The West is the only one who bought into their lies and the one they focused to convince because they're the one who give them diplomatic cover and everything else. The West allow them to exist. Media empowers. Their mentality is, after the Holocaust, they said never again. Part of their grip their whole like secret networking help one another thing is uh yes it's mentioned in their book but it's also fueled by this never again sentiment that came after the 40s with the boy in germany Back to Arabia. Even Arabia's been a victim of them. You notice how every Middle Eastern country, look across this Middle East. It starts with Israel, for, from, looking from the West. It starts with Israel, look outwards, all the way down to the Africas. Have you noticed that, except for Morocco, Every country is a dictatorship. Have you noticed that? Every fucking nation is a dictatorship except for Morocco, which is, eh, they got freedom of speech, I'll give it to them. But they don't, they're not involved in anything. They're not a threat anyway. They're, they're, they're they don't count. Um, and that's it. And Turkey, which was NATO. So even they have white people on it. That's, that speaks straight up. 
Do you think that's an accident? No. Israel, with the help of the United States, mainly Israel though, did this and kept the status quo for its whole years of existence up until the last moment, up until after 7th. We'll, tell, we'll talk how. They made sure that, again, I told you, the Arab world knows their truth. We see it. We know it. If you have one Arab nation where the people actually, you know, what do you call it, democratic or whatever, whatever that lie is, you know, where people decide, yeah, we want this, the rulers, where the people decide, Israel will be gone today. It's a bubble. Go poop. It's a very fragile bubble. That's why it's going as hard as it is. Cruelty is a, is a sign of weakness. Remember that general rule. Do you remember the Arab Spring? I'll give you Egypt as an example. Egypt's whole rise was to get the dictators out. Now they got a new dictator. A dictator that was funded. Now, it's a secret gang. I'm about to get into the game, but Arabia, as well as the UAE, but mainly Arabia. Arabia is the big boss. Sure, Qatar got money and stuff. I'm sure, it's been like, but Arabia is the head of culturally. Everybody looks towards Arabia. When Muslims pray, they pray towards Arabia because it's where Prophet Muhammad was. It's the land of the two holy mosques. The title, Khadim al Harmain, the say custodian. It's not custodian, it's servant of the two holy mosques. It's a holy title. When you rule Arabia, you're the servant of the two holy mosques. MashaAllah. The protector and defender of Islam. Wow. These fairy tales is what keeps them in power, bro. Whether it's true or not, it's reflected all through their propaganda and media. For years. And every time we had to go to war, like Yemen, it was always the Islamic factor in there. Uh, these, the, they insult the, 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 the disciples, how uh, Shia, they play with the religion, uh, they, 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 they fight God, but. So you understand how this, this this thinking process is. Naturally, when you see this going on and you see all the white people come together and, you know, even the, the haters and, the, and the, the cheerleaders of genocide, they tell you, they, I had, I hurt, it hurt me to hear. Where's your nations? Why, why would the Arabs help them? Ha, ha, ha. For most of you, it hurts to hear, sure, but it hurt me on a deeper level because I know the answer. And I'm about to tell you why. Where is the Arab leaders? But there's hope at the end of the, at the end of this. Relax. So let's be clear about some. The reason I supported MBS, even though he did a lot of wrong, is because I seen something in him. MBS did not become Crown Prince via the natural process. I think I covered this in my documentary. Ritz Carlton, how he took over. It was MBN. He was the one who's going to be Crown Prince where MBS is right now. MBS was just, a, he's playing video games. He actually is playing PUBG. The only time he gave a statement about what was going on before the Arab summit, we condemned Hamas, or Israel, was PUBG. I'm not. I'm not joking. MBS literally on PUBG. He got asked about. It. Yeah, I see if I have. It. 
But that's true. MBS is a young dude. He plays video games. He came and he did things like let women drive and flipped. He gave freedom right away. And did a lot of things that are against the, the so I supported that. I took all the bad like Khashoggi and uh, I took it as a price for freedom. At least you gave a little bit of uh <sighs> now opinions vary. And when it comes to right now, his silence at first was suspicious. And at first, I started to turn against him. I asked, where is he? The haters was asked, the Zionists were like, where is your leaders? Why don't the Arabs help him? Here's the reality of it. Make no mistake about it. <laughs> Saudi Arabia rules. I'm sorry. Yeah, the royal family, Saud, Salman and his family, rule the Arabian Peninsula. Because there's two stories. There's the one that they taught us in school when I was in Arabia, which is King of Abdelaziz. He united all the tribes that was fighting, and he fought wars, and he took it over with a sword. That sounds nice, and it's partially true. But the real story is King Abdelaziz, he didn't do it with the Muslim brotherhoods and the tribes. He did it with the help of the British Empire, who put him there as their air face. In the West Bank, if you protest against Israel, they arrest you. Palestinian Authority government rules the West Bank. That is just the air face for Israel. They're the ones in power. They got a puppet, their boy. The king, and they might hate me for this, but that's, that's the truth. There's books and proof. This area was partitioned by the British, and they put that boy there. The oil and stuff, they had smart business moves where they ended up owning it versus like Iran where they got messy. So the, the relationship continued, and they became the outposts like Israel is. Before Israel. And that was Arabia. When the Israel stuff happened down the years at King Faisal, King Faisal got whacked by his own nephew. I believe it was Israel. I my, my opinion is they whacked King, King Faisal because he put an oil embargo. He came to power right after. And he was like, this ain't right. I'm gonna do the right thing. They whacked him. This was this was the early days of the Mossad uh, and the NSO group, uh, the hackers and the mercenaries. They're not known for their intelligence superpowers. They're known for their breaking the law and and and, and, and ruthlessness and whacking whoever, just being violent, cruel, merciless. That's what made him, it gave him this reputation. See what I'm saying? And earning that reputation, my friend, this is what the West don't know. Anytime a voice came up to criticize him, whether it was a poor little journalist or a YouTuber, <laughs> with views like mine, or if it was the king of Saudi Arabia, they will put a bullet in you. No, don't hesitate. As recent as a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago, when I was getting threats from, I'll save it, you know, in case I put a case for it. But I was getting credible threats from army people and stuff, and you know? <laughs> Take my Facebook page comments. You'll see it. So I know the truth. And I know that you see me tell you about how they made Al Qaeda with the help of the Saudis. It wasn't by accident. 
who convinced the Saudi boys to go train and go Afghanistan to fight the Soviets? They convinced them they're going to be heroes. Who? Prince Salman, who became king now. Who was he doing that for? Americans. You understand the relation? So yes, from day one they were put there and they're under the thumb of America. Trump, when he was in election, he said, the Saudis, they'll be nothing without us. What did he mean by that? But don't lose hope. I'm coming. If you think I'm lying, look at every person who challenges Israel. Look at Iraq. Look at uh, Gaddafi. Yes, during the Arab Spring, sure, people revolted, but it wasn't natural. Foreign powers got, uh, came and funded groups. Egypt did all this revolution. They went from dictator to dictator. What's the point? Who chose Sisi? You see how President Sisi won't even open the border? He's just a doorman for Israel. Just like all these dictators. Why is all of them dictators? You notice? What happened when people revolted? revolted? Or, a or a leader came who was actually not a dictator. Or even a dictator who said the truth. Pap. Coincidence much? They play dirtier than that. They've attempted genocide at smaller levels, such as poisoning food, selling you... There's proof for that. But do our research. Selling you baby products like milk is poisoned via German companies and stuff. Faces for Israeli businesses and stuff. Yeah. For years. We know their truth. Why do they ask us to condemn Hamas, not you? Simple. Because they don't want to convince us. We already know the truth. They don't give a fuck. They want to convince you, Western man, that we are terrorists, bad, barbaric, animal savages. Via their group on the media. That is why the Jewish state, Judaism does not acknowledge Jesus. Why did Netanyahu use the Bible, the Christianity Bible, out of all books? And drop a Bible verse about uh, justifying the unjustifiable, anyway. How he's about to uh, incriminate himself in the process. Saying he will leave no woman, no child, no animal. I'm not like some bullshit. As if the Bible is a science book, nigga. But I'm trying to tell you. Bible is for Christianity. Why did he use Bible, not not the Torah, not the Mood? Because again, the goal is to convince you, Western man. If you believe the lie, he gets to keep doing what he's doing. You understand me? Simple. We know the truth. You don't care about us. He'll kill us in bulk. But you, lying to you, your media. Mm -hmm. You say that anti Semitism, anti Semitism. There was an American president during the early years of Israel who complained about the increasing number of, of Jewish, and I say Jewish, and, and, uh, but Israeli sympathetic. Jewish plants in this American system when it was still starting. Right now, it's full. It pretty much belongs to them. It's a law that you become American president, you have to swear to never uh, disobey Israel. What kind of law is that? Would you sign a contract like that with, with a female? Even if he was married, I swear to always obey. What?
I wouldn't even place a bet on that. Let alone swear and contract the president of the United States. Things make sense now, right? And you understand the motive behind it. It's because never again, never again. Sure. After the Holocaust. I get it. Now that you guys understand why or where are Arab leaders, as they ask, those, this question coming from uneducated or those who actually don't know, it, it's a good question. It actually poses a very interesting um, thought to have. But when it's coming from those who know, such as politicians, it's not only malicious, it is disrespectful. It is the same thing as I come and, God forbid, hypothetically, I come and shoot your cousin. And then I ask you, while I'm free as a bird and I beat the case on a technicality. And then me and you are discussing how we're going to live in the same hood and keep peace. And I'm like, where is your cousin? Knowing damn well, I killed your cousin, hypothetically. How would you feel? If I don't have proof sufficient to link to Israel, his nephew, King Faisal, his nephew walked up to him during a UN meeting or some conference, something, Riyadh. Um, during that era, like, see the reason Arabia is the number one in the Arab world, besides the, with the money and stuff, it's the land of Islam. It's where Mecca is everywhere. So, <clears throat> so he got that, you know. <sighs> the land of Islam said to be going by Syria, even though. Is it actually Sharia? Is it a different version of it? What it is? That's a different combo. But officially, publicly, we govern by the Quran and Islam. Now that can open the door for interpretation, because I can read this book and I say it means that, and you can say it means that. But who decides if me and you are right? Yes, the ruler. So the ruler gets to play with it, but he gets to create a law on the spot if he needs to and come at you from a religious aspect. That way everybody shuts up and, you know, so they play with religion. So when they ask, where's your Arab leaders? I get really angry with politicians because they know where they are. And I'm gonna save the good news for last, but they know. And I get even more pissed. If you remember, I told people stop using terrorist word from day one, from the early days. They looked at me like I'm defending Terrorist. I am pro Hamas. I'm not hiding it. And I shouldn't have to hide it. Because under international law, you're allowed to resist a foreign invader occupying you. Especially when the UN and the ICC and all them gave you clear border 76. You exceeded the borders illegally. You come and kick me out of my crib. In Texas, you, you can do the Draco, hop out and start shooting. You can do that to people in your house under self-defense laws, I'm pretty sure, right? If they come in, you, you whack them. But over there, they turned it around. And it's not that the U.S. is racist. Or, or, the U.S. is powerless. Powerless to the lobby groups and the inner plants they put here and there. 
were very sympathetic to Israel, employed and put there deliberately by them. There was a U.S. president. I'm not sure if it was uh, Bill Clinton, someone old, way older, Kissinger or something. He complained about this in the beginning of his rare like He called them SOBs. He said what would be considered anti-Semitic today. Very. <laughs> he said these, like in other words, these sons of bitches trying to take over um, um, the government here. What the hell? And the answer was, yes, they are. But they paid you to shut up. And a lot of times when the payment, sometimes it comes with a payment, but to ensure the success of your compliance, Tactics like blackmail are included. In fact, it is theorized with some, you know, vague evidence, but evidence nonetheless, suggesting that, you know, Jeffrey with the island and the plane, remember him? You realize the people that was on the planes, it wasn't, it wasn't like the people you see, and 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 them, uh, the weirdos that, uh, that like to sell kids. It's not the typical perverts, or clientele for that matter. If they did have adults, I don't know. Basically, bro, listen. Excuse my French here. Trigger warning. I'm just gonna talk straight up. So listen, I'm going to tell you without, without censoring myself. Listen to this part. Basically, a theory says Jeffrey Epstein, alongside his um, girlfriend or whatever the fuck she was, have ties to the Mossad. And possibly they were Mossad agents on a special operation to control these states and head of states all across. But mainly the the Western, because that's the goal always. And to keep it short and simple, they you're a big politician. Let's say you're the president, Prince Harry, whatever. They take you on the Lolita Express. You go over there. He's known to record everything and have records of it. Video, audio, everything. Bugged. That, that, does that sound like government or not? <laughs> if he was really a child, you know, traffic or whatever, why would he record it? Uh-huh. Where'd he get the recording devices? Wouldn't he try to... Not recorded? Mmm, Mossad well, ties are very real. As well as diplomatic cover that kept him going all these years. And his ability to get in circles. Because, you know, Rob Ford might have, um, excuse my French, Rob Ford, the mayor, used to smoke crack. I hypothetically know a nigga selling crack in the hood. How did them two meet? Uh huh. You understand these things get facilitated. How did they trust enough each other to, to do? You know. Anyway, the Lila Express. They hop on. They go. They fuck the girl or boy, whatever they doing. The underage person. Jeffrey filmed it. And Prince Harry. If you ever go against Israel or anything, uh, we release this video to the public or authorities or whatever. Blackmail. <clears throat> obviously, obviously, the, these, this list was kept 
in the dark. Why? Ask yourself why and go from there. You won't you might not find an exact answer, but you're definitely asking the right questions. And the links to Israel are real. I'm just telling you that this is a conspiracy theory. However, the evidence is there. It's strong. Don't take this one. This is just one amongst the sea. Again, I'm from there. The Mossad whacked people weekly. When this whole thing started before the outcry, and there was journalists in and outside Gaza, in Dubai, they whacked one. They admit it. They're not shy about it. They got so arrogant to the point where they admit their own wrongdoing. Now let's come back to the Arab leaders. We've covered the history of the family. From the beginning, they were cool with the U.S. Did you know? Yeah, so I get pissed when they say terrorists because... And this will make you laugh. Listen. Them and the U.S. created this idea of a terrorist, as we know. When you say the word terrorist, you're thinking Muslim. Because it became a racial term. I don't see them calling any real... They don't apply it correctly. They apply it when your skin color or ethnicity is of a certain kind. Terrorist, 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 terrorist. What? Nah. But what I'm trying to say is, who created the terrorist? The first of his kind, the prototype, Al-Qaeda. I did a video, click here or there. Briefly, the puppets, the homeboys in Arabia, helping their homies in the U.S. fight the Soviets who invaded Afghanistan in the year 1979. The recruitment was done again in Arabia, Islam. The enemies of Islam. Um, every time there's a war, it's always the Islamic route. And it works. It worked enough where... They sent the whole generation, who a lot of them came back, but a lot of them stayed. And uh, and because they weren't going, you give me a paycheck to go do a, a, a mission and come back. I take my paycheck, I come home, I'm done. But if you convince me with the creed and ideology, and this whole Muslim heaven, 76 virgin hero dream. To the point where Osama Bin Laden, I covered this. A multi-millionaire. He could wake up, drive Lamborghini today, Bentley tomorrow, Audi. He was so rich, it don't make sense. I covered his family, click here or there. Demonetized, so you got to look, look. <sighs> He's so rich, he didn't need to do anything. Let alone go in the cave and fight. But because they came from the ideology aspect. This wasn't about a paycheck for him. He gave up the, 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 the good life. That's how much he bought into it. So when your mission was done... His was not, you use him as a tool. Okay. When it was done, what you needed, the belief is still in his head that fight, protect Islam. Uh -uh. So then he ran out of Soviets. He seen the truth, more truth. And this is a person going to 
protect his line and fight the, the bad guys in his head. He come to realize that the bad guys are actually the U.S. and not. And the U.S. at the time, the wound of Faisal was fresh. Israel was not, the West was yet to know what they're doing. They don't know like today. October 7th, not a whole world, no. Because TikTok. But before that, only we knew. We knew and we look at the West and we see them not give a fuck. In fact, they support them. And these supposed to be the homies we went and fought for. You see the logic and reasoning behind it? It's important to understand. Before you run at me with accusation, we got to understand motive to prevent future. Did he do 911? Who knows? Ask the victims of families how they're... Uh, you can do your own research and see what they recently found. That's how I've been there. But the point remains is you created terrorism. Arabia helped you. When it was done, they covered it up with you. It's done. So, what I'm trying to say is, you created this bad guy villain. You made me the villain in your eyes for a bit to cover your own ass. I said, okay. Israel is the biggest terrorist if we really apply the definition correctly in the world. I don't just mean that since the seventh or mowing the lawn, they did things like real terror acts outside of. Gaza and Israel, far away. Even in some civilized countries, where they bombed the offices of Palestinian government early on, embassies and whatnot, to rid them of existence. That's what they did. These things got covered up nicely. Probably never heard that before. You can search. Any real... Terror from Al Qaeda before they became not so useful. Because let's not forget, they were birthed out of the need of the jihad. I covered it extensively and I'm censored to the hell. So, you like these? You want to hear more? I can tell you more. A lot more. But you got to help me out. Because there's a war against me. And it's not like they don't know who I am. Sometimes the specific ones, they get demonetized and attacked with fake comments. America, if Israel did not exist, would have a lot more friends. The only thing that makes America a target for these terror groups and Fundamentalists, radicalists, all the, 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 ooh, terrorist. Sam Biladin was born rich. He studied at the U.S. and graduated. So he spent his time partying. He was a party boy to her. He wanted to be a hero because you told him he was going to be a hero. With the same propaganda machine that painted him as a villain later. He and every terror down to the ISIS and all of them. Of course, I'm using that term vaguely because I don't. I think the word terrorism serves no purpose. I like to move very academic. Terms like this is like calling. Uh, it's like the N word, because if you're not gonna call the white man terrorist when he does textbook definition of terror, then we'd rather not use it. Because one side uses it is, is, is rude, and you allow it to the point where he called women children terrorists, and nobody says, no, let him do it, you cheer him. Finish the job, Netanyahu. Finish the what?
Finish the job. Grown men saying that. Again, not only would Hamas not exist if it wasn't for Israel, there would be no terrorists because they wouldn't have a reason to. And they would never attack the U.S. What makes them hate the U.S.? There's plenty of infidels and pork eating uh, that they want you to believe this nonsense. That they just hate you for no reason. So he, he he's a multimillionaire who left Lambo. Pull up in that screw screw. Corvette, Corvette. He left the good life that we all want to go in a cave because he had no reason. And spent the rest of his life on a run in horrible conditions. From mansions to, to roaches and rags or whatever. He walked out because he, he, he was convinced. And who convinced him that this is the path to heaven? Uh-huh. And why did they do that? To help the homies there? Uh-huh. But why did they attack the U.S.? Israel. The U.S. is not an angel, but in the 21st century, life is about business and normal and, and shake hands and uh, come on, we all want to live. You immigrants, immigrants. Well, stop making my country a living hell and putting dictators on top of it. They, they chop your tongue off, literally. Insert bottles and, and, and lord knows what into your rectum literally as torture methods nail pulling as the advisors for obama was bragging to the little kid who had to flee because of these situations as if it's an achievement i know a guy who'll pull your nails what does that mean you tough how about I pull my nail myself he said, I'd be like afraid. But all these people came together to attack America. They have to America. Why? Because America, you support Israel. You are Israel. You belong to them. You're a tool. They bought you. I was covering the peace with Iran and Saudi early. And I was criticizing early. You know, let's not pretend that, oh, why would you attack Israel? This has been waiting to happen forever. It would have happened if Hamas did it, if Hezbollah did it. If, if someone would have did it at some point. I thought that Iran, because since they do back Hamas, they told them, good agreement. But it wasn't an Iranian order, according to them. And the, uh, the resistance themselves, Hamas. They said, no, nah, we move our own. We get the money, and if they need some done, we do it. But this was an independent decision. We came together here not to serve Iran. We came here to free. We have our own cause. I'll work with you part-time if you need goon, mercenary work, but Hamas is not built to serve Iran. It's to resist the, the Zionist filth. And this, the evidence that was intelligence that suggested that Iran, sure they funded them. A lot of people funded them besides Iran. Such as Qatar, which mediated. And they're not a terrorist state. They had the World Cup. They don't consider them a terrorist. Blinken came trying to be cool after he let the genocide happen. <laughs> he showed up in Turkey with a bulletproof vest. He knows he effed up. My point is, instead of putting yourself in this awkward situation in the U.S., stop it, Israel. It's not anti-Semitic to stop a genocide. The 
it's not. And I will refuse to take the term anti-Semitic when I say the truth, especially when it comes to something like this. Because I, in Islam, we believe in Judaism and Musa, Moses. And Moses had tablets. Those who not killed, you did it. Those who not lie, you did it. Lying all day. Those who not steal, you stole the land, still stealing. 76, you still going. And you lie and killing in the process. So you, you, you don't give a fuck about Moses or Judaism. He said, this is our land. Ah. So you left everything else and you, yeah, come on. You're not a Jew. Real Jews don't agree with this. Real academics and scholars know that you were to live in exile. Matter of fact, they keep saying that they got expelled by the Arabs. Ooh, ah. You lived peacefully for the Ottoman Empire for centuries, as long as Christians. You're the one that keeps making this about religion. Is Christian still there? You bombing churches. While using Bible verses to be just. They're not the one imposing the religion, you are. You didn't need to do massacres and expelling. The Zionist idea was started by an atheist. It was started to an anti-Semitic era where people didn't want you in Europe and in the U.S. to get you out of there and throw you in this leftover British colony, whether it's called Palestine or whatever the fuck. There were people there. You didn't have to kick them. You did. And every terrorist in this world that goes after America, at least, Nine times out of ten, ten times out of ten is because of Israel and their support for Israel. ISIS, look at this comedy. I'll leave you on this. I'll continue later. ISIS was birthed by a storm created by Israel. Bashar al-Assad is a puppet, the president of Syria. Arab Spring happened, people protest. This is a person put there and protected by Israel. Confirmed now, by the way. Where did he get chemical weapons? Because he, he did at the time. He didn't drop them on a foreign invader. He dropped them on the streets with the protesters. Chemical weapons, illegal. Where did he get them? How did he give diplomatic cover? Have to drop him chemical weapons on his own people. Not chemtrails, chemical weapons. Videos exist. 